I was about seven years old when I started gymnastics. I started in Stellenbosch. I didn't do it for very long. When I was nine years old, my family relocated to England and I've been training there for the past 11, 12 years. And uh, now I've decided to come back to South Africa and compete for South Africa. You know, my family always used to say that because of my size, I was so small that I would have made a good gymnast. It was either that or to be a jockey, you know. So I think it was my mum that always said I'd make a good gymnast, and she kind of pushed me towards getting into that sport. My strongest apparatus right now would most likely be Volt. I'm looking to improve my parallel bars and rings a lot as well. So those three apparatus in the future would probably be what I'd be working towards. The uh, most challenging apparatus would be pommel horse. I think it's difficult for someone of my size. I'm very short and stocky, so I won't make excuses, but my body shape's changed considerably over the years. As a junior, I was always very slight, and uh, at that stage, I was very good at pommel horse. It was one of my best apparatus. When I started bulking up when I was 18, 19, it got a lot more difficult. You know, the past two, three years, really, I've had quite a quiet time competition-wise. I suppose it's since I became a senior, it's a lot more difficult to get into competition events. But, I mean, towards the end of last year, I had a very good competition here in Centurion for the trials for the African Championships. So I was very happy about that. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of different things coming together. I think that's support from, you know, family, friends, whether that's financial, emotional. Uh, you also have to have the right mindset you, know, you have to be motivated and dedicated and uh, I think a very important aspect is to be able to go for it and not have too many other things stopping you. I would say one of the most common mental requirements you'll find with the elite gymnasts is that they stick out things, so they're real fighters. And I think that's extremely important. You know, that will reflect not just in their gym but through other aspects of their life as well. I've been supported so well by so many different people, you know, through emotional support and financial support. And I think this is only really the start of my journey for South Africa gymnastics. I plan to go far away and hopefully do a lot for the sport in this country.